Hi everyone, welcome back to Rihanna's Kitchen Corner. In this video, I am going to share banana vermicelli pola or semiya banana pola. This is a Malabar special pola recipe. This recipe is very similar to the kai pola banana cake or steamed plantain cake is one of the most authentic Malabar dishes. This is very easy and tasty combination of plantain, egg and vermicelli. Heat a pan, add 2 tablespoons of ghee and you can fry quarter cup of cashews and rice seeds and keep it aside. In the same pan, you can add two ripe chopped bananas and fry until light brown color. Add one tablespoon of brown sugar and saute until the bananas become light brown in color. Once it's ready, you can remove and set aside. In the same pan, I'm adding one tablespoon of ghee and half cup of roasted vermicelli. If you don't have the roasted vermicelli, you have to saute and roast it for like two to three minutes. Here I have the roasted vermicelli, so I'm just sauteing for like one minute. Add one cup of warm milk and mix it well and cook until the vermicelli is like a half cooked. Add one tablespoon of brown sugar and give it a mix. Once the consistency becomes uh, slight thick, you can turn off the heat and let it cool. You can transfer the vermicelli mix to a bowl. Add three eggs to a blender, and you can add quarter cup of brown sugar and quarter cup of milk according to the size of your bananas. If your bananas are small, you don't need to add. Add accordingly. And you can add quarter teaspoons of cardamom powder and a pinch of salt. Blend it well and then transfer to the mixing bowl. Mix it well, everything combined together, and then you can add the fried bananas to it. fried cashews and raisins and to save some for garnishing. Mix it well until everything combined together. Take a pan, add a little bit of ghee and you can spread it with a brush. Now you can pour the prepared mix to a grease pan.
level with a spatula then you can cover and cook for 10 minutes on low heat and then you can top it with cashews and raisin cover and cook for again another 30 more minutes until it's cooked properly After 40 minutes of cooking, you can remove the cover and you can loosen the side and then you can flip this to another frying pan. Cover and cook for 5 minutes on low flame. Once it's ready, you can uh, transfer to a serving plate. Same here, banana pala is ready. Once it's cooked, you can slice and enjoy with a cup of tea or coffee. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you like this video. I'll see you soon back with another one. Bye. Take care.